Hello, hello, hello. Today is Thursday, April 27, 2023. The solutions of problem 169. I have used most of Ulf Heller's solution, but I have adapted them somewhat so that you can see the steps that he has taken. In other words, I have added something to make you see the steps. Here is a bowling ball which stands on a moving belt. The belt moves in this direction with acceleration A1 relative to me, I'm standing here. And relative to me, the ball will start to move to the right, the center of the ball to the right with acceleration A2. The reason why the ball will start to move to the right is because there must be friction here. And due to the friction, two things will happen. It will start to move to the right, but it will also start to rotate. Because there is a torque relative to this point. Now, the question now is, if the belt is moving with acceleration A1, what then is this A2? In general, a situation like this, the ball will start to accelerate to the right, it will rotate, but there will also be slip. However, there is a situation when there is no slip, and we call that pure roll. To remind you what pure roll is, stand on this belt. And at this point at the top be capital A. So you stand on the belt and you move with the belt. And there comes a time that point A is again up. If then the distance between these two points A does also between the center of the sphere and the center here, if that distance is 2 pi r, that is pure roll. Then there never is any slip here. Therefore, no heat is produced here, because if there is slip, there will be heat. Okay, Newton's second law, F equals MA2. Right, I'm standing here, this ball is moving away from me, this acceleration A2, so F, which is this F, is MA2. At the center of mass of the sphere, the torque is FR or RF, whatever you prefer. Torque is a cross product between position vector and force. If I use this here down, vertically down, as my position vector, then it is this R cross F, and since this angle is 90 degrees, the value is FR, or RF, whatever you prefer. So the value of the torque is F MA2 times R. And that now is I alpha. And for that, you have to go back to my A01 lectures, where I explain in great detail that the torque is moment of inertia about your axis of rotation times alpha and alpha is d omega dt, 
Omega is the angular frequency of rotation of the ball. Omega is also 2 pi divided by the period t. t is the time for one rotation. So give this some thought. 2 tau equals i alpha and digest the meaning of alpha. And I've added this to all solution. The moment of inertia of a solid sphere rotating about the axis of the center is 2 fifths mr square. In the reference frame of the moving belt, the bolt has an acceleration a equals I a1 minus a2. That's trivial, of course. Now let's once more discuss the meaning of pure roll, no slip. No slip on the belt means that V equals omega r. V is the velocity of the ball on the belt. And you should be able to check for yourself why that is exactly pure roll, going back to what I told you just earlier about that point A. The VDT is by definition A. And since V equals omega R for pure roll, A is alpha R, because alpha is the omega DT. So now we have that A1 minus A2 is alpha R. That is the no-slip condition. Alpha is MA2 times R divided by I. Look at this equation. Alpha is ma2 times r divided by i. Alpha is ma2 times r divided by i. You're now within spitting distance of the answer because you put in i that we just derived, or we just know, i is 1 2 fifths mr square. You massage that a little bit further and then you find A1 minus A2, which is alpha R, and then you find this, and then you find this, high school algebra. A2 is two sevenths of A1. By no means intuitive. It's not something you could possibly have guessed. It's a classic problem. Would I have been able to do this problem when I was in high school? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I can't be certain. But certainly, first year college, absolutely I should have been able to do this problem. JEE main, no question. Everyone should be able to do this problem. And for JEE advanced, this would even be, this problem would be too easy. The one thing which is always a given, it's the most important conservation rule in physics that we, you and I, will always be friends. Keep that in mind. <laughs>